Hey there, it's Sara at Moon Audio. If you think you've seen everything the audio world has to offer, I present to you this. This is the SR1A Earfield Monitor from RAL Requisite. Yes, that RAL, the one well known for ribbon tweeters. They joined up with Requisite Audio to make this amazing headphone that gives you a speaker-like presentation on your head. But these are no ordinary headphones, most obviously because there are no ear cups. You may actually want to call them ear speakers because listening to them mimics the experience of listening to loudspeakers, where the sweet spot is out in front of you. The SR1A has an industrial look and feel. It doesn't have the polish of many high-end headphones, but it's made with high quality materials and is sturdy and durable. And if you think it looks heavy, rest assured, it weighs less than a pound. So who are these for? RAL Requisite describes the SR1A as a full range mixing and mastering monitor, but it works equally well for the discerning home listener. What's neat about the SR1A is that you can easily integrate it into your existing two channel speaker system with the interface box that's included. The only additional thing you'll need is an extra set of speaker cables. The interface box has a switch on the rear that allows you to toggle between speaker and headphone use. Now, these aren't throw them on and move about the house headphones. These are sit in place and listen like you're listening to speakers headphones. You can't really lie down with them on, and unless you have a very understanding partner, roommate, office mate, you really have to be by yourself as there is no sound isolation. But we think these are small sacrifices worth making for this experience. So another thing that makes the SR1A unique in the headphone world is that it uses driver technology derived from Rawls aluminum ribbon tweeters. These highly specialized ribbon drivers have a frequency range of 30 Hertz to 30 kilohertz in order to the, eliminate the need for sealed chambered bass and allow for open air baffles, both front and back, for a true full frequency sound field. Now, the low impedance of the SR1A makes matching it to a suitable amp somewhat challenging. You cannot use a traditional headphone amplifier. You either have to use a speaker amp connected to the interface box that comes with the SR1A or a custom built ribbon amplifier, such as the newly released RAL HSA-1B or the Sheet Audio Jotunheim R. So why the interface box? Well, ribbon drivers have an extremely low resistance and most typical speaker or headphone amps can't handle the loading. A step-down transformer and resistive network are required to provide a manageable load if you want to use a typical speaker amp to drive these. Without the right circuit, the frequency response will be compromised and there will be a substantial loss in sound quality. Just having a powerful headphone amp that can deliver higher wattages is not enough to handle the load characteristics of the SR1A. Now, I promise you will be blown away by these things, but you've got to put in a little legwork to ensure you get the proper positioning. You want to think of this as an X and Y axis. You've got the lines here that you're lining up to this center point. Looking in the mirror if you have to, you want to arrange the headband on your head so that you get that X right in the center, directly in front of your ear canal, because that's the sweet spot. Now, you can angle the drivers to achieve the presentation you want. Don't be afraid to move these things around. They're very well engineered. They're not fragile. So for acoustic and orchestral music, you are encouraged to experiment with wider horizontal positioning. You simply angle the drivers forward for more projection, and then you can bring them back for more bass and tighter imaging. So what does the SR1A sound like? Well, it has a neutral, uncolored, and analytical signature with a sound quality that is pure, smooth, clear, highly resolving, and incredibly realistic. Sometimes I find that analytical can sound hollow or sterile. That is not the case with the RAL. I find the sound to be incredibly lifelike. It's not an overly emotional quality, but there's a way in which the realism conveys a certain intimacy, like we might say after a friend shares a secret. When I tried the SR1A, I delighted in the fact that the sound wasn't concentrated or congested between my ears. My music was in front of me and beside me and above me and even behind me, sometimes tumbling through my cranium on a diagonal. 
Base response is surprising from a driver type known for treble, with lots of texture and definition. To get the amount of bass you desire, you will angle the drivers more toward your head, which narrows the soundstage. It takes a bit of trial and error to find that balance, and it will differ for everyone and will depend on what you're listening to. The amount of detail retrieval in the RAL is stellar, comparable to or maybe a notch above the Focal Utopia headphones, but with the added marvel of that out in front of you soundstage. You may find the mid-range, specifically vocals, to be slightly lacking on some tracks. There's also not a ton of emotion in vocals, but for anything the SR1A lacks in that regard, it makes up for in spades when it comes to vocal nuance and realism as well as in sound separation and soundstage. This is truly a sublime sounding product. Now, let's talk cables. We recommend using Black Dragon cables with your SR1A setup to counterbalance its analytical nature. This includes headphone cables, speaker cables, power cables, and interconnects. Keeping your cables consistent ensures a uniform sound. We make a Black Dragon premium headphone cable specific to the SR1A. It has the same neutral warm signature as our standard Black Dragon, but with some upgrades such as rhodium plated connectors that add an extra layer of clarity to your music. UPOCC copper strands in the Black Dragon smooth out the top end while adding bottom end weight and make the mid-range sound more musical. You get a slightly warmer sound without sacrificing any of the wonderful details that the SR1A offers. So if you think you've heard it all, I am here to tell you that unless you've tried the RAL SR1A, you ain't heard nothing yet. To learn more about the SR1A, be sure to check out our review, which we'll link to below. If you have any questions, please leave us a comment. And if you want more audiophile reviews, please subscribe and be sure to click the like button. As always, thanks for watching.